Bone Bridge is kind of an imaginary place that I kind of put myself into where I could write this music because, you know, I love being in New York and New York has this incredible urban energy and I feed off of that every day, but I needed some place in my imagination that I could go to to write this kind of music that was different, that wasn't so citified and urban and complex. I, I find like sometimes I hide behind kind of complexity and so I wanted to push forward a kind of simplicity, uh, elegance of melody and just spirit that was this fantasy place called Bone Bridge. When you put together a band that, that's this special, you want to really capture the character of it. And so we recorded in one room in Excello Studios out in Williamsburg. You know, I have this fantastic guy I've been collaborating with named Scott Salter who comes up from uh, North Carolina. He manages to get fantastic sounds and really capture the room, capture the band, and we do it all live. And then we, you know, we add some stuff later, little tracks, little touches here and there to kind of uh, put the final touches on it. But uh, this, is, this is a jazz band in that sense. Tabitha was a piece that I came up with the morning after I did an improv night at the Stone. The Stone is a club here in New York, because so I got into this bass line and this vibe, and it just created this fantastic improv. And so the, that night I went home and said, I'm gonna remember this one. It doesn't happen to me that much, actually, where uh, uh, something from a gig becomes a piece, but uh, I should pay attention more next time. <laughs> One of the things that happened was I spent about two weeks in Charleston, South Carolina playing last summer and I finished up the project there. And one of the pieces that I wrote there is this one called uh, Low Country Cupola. Just feel like that kind of, the heat of Charleston, the food, the vibe of that, that southern architecture and um, I, I feel like I hear that in this piece. And, um, it was, a, it was a great place to spend a couple of weeks and it really added a, a kind of a dimension to the, to the Bone Bridge project. Hanky Panky is a, is a kind of came about when I, I figured out this opening melody that, I, that we had and I think humor is a big part of this record, and so I put this, this habanera bass line to it, and it just seemed to work out. And um, the slide like, brings a whole other element to it. There's a certain kind of almost world music vibe that comes from the slide. And uh, um, I just think all the elements together make up for a kind of a, a really fun piece. Mike Serene is on drums, and Mike is a, an incredible player who's got this fantastic sense of humor. He's always right there, you know, and uh, also not afraid of the spotlight, so that's great. Doug has that kind of charisma to be in the spotlight, but also to back off and support in a, in a kind of strategic way that's so amazing.
Trevor Dunn is kind of the smoldering, deep kind of player who's got um, so much experience with all these different kinds of music. So I think it's like a, a, a dream band for me. It's really exciting. I'm just trying to be as soulful and uh, expressive as possible. And I think that carries through all the projects. 